Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna talk through clipping seam allowances and cutting and prepping your wire pieces for the hat. What you need to know is that you need to wire the outer edge of the brim. We also wire around the top piece of the crown. And then depending on the style of hat, bonnets, top hats, things that are tall, things that have large brims, they need more support. So you're going to have to cut more wire pieces. The smaller hats, like this little perchy berger and the boater that we're making, don't need as much support. They don't need the support out in the brim. They don't need the support because they're not very tall. But this one here in the brim needs multiple pieces of wire that go from the crown out to the brim, like a bicycle spoke, right? So in Christie's hat here, you can actually, well, you can't feel it, but you can see a couple of ridges. So she's got pieces of wire coming here, two in the front, then she has them out at the sides as well. You would need for the bonnet a minimum of three. She actually has more than that in here to give it more support. Also, you're going to need some wire running up the height of the crown. So those of you doing top hats and bonnets, you need pieces of wire that go from here up to here, running down the side of your crown. So you'd wanna evenly space those probably in something like this, put four, center front, center back, and then side pieces as well, okay? So when you're measuring out your wire pieces, you want to run the wire around the edge, like Christy's doing here, and she started at center back, she's walking it with her fingers, making sure that she has enough She's going to go all the way around until she gets back to her starting point. And then she's going to give it a little bit extra. So she's going past her starting point so that she's got about an inch to an inch and a half of overlap there. And you'll want to do the same thing with the crown piece as well. On the crown piece, you want to walk it around at your marked seam allowance. So make sure that you've got this dotted line of seam allowance on your pieces so that you can easily walk it from center back around the crown and then past center back again so that you've got that little bit of overlap. Then if you're doing these support pieces, so this is a really tiny support piece on the sideband. If you're doing the top hat, you're doing the bonnet, this is going to be a much, much longer piece but you want enough wire to go up the side band and then bend it horizontally, top and bottom, so that you have enough to connect to the opposite piece of wire. 